All righty, it's 11.01, so why don't we go ahead and get started and then folks joining us, we'll, we'll let them in as they come in. Um, but good morning, we just wanted to, well, I wanted to welcome everybody on this uh, beautiful first day of spring, as well as Earth-inspired virtual program that we have. Um, we're happy to have you plant enthusiasts with us. And joining me today is Becca Plum, who is our Director of Education and myself, who will be leading this virtual um, program. And my name is Mavette. So we're happy to have you all and super excited. Um, I guess before we get started, we wanted to just kind of give some background, some inspiration for this workshop. This workshop was inspired or is inspired by our Secret Life of Earth exhibition that's still currently on view. Um, our museum is still open um, or is currently open Wednesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if you want to check out this exhibition, please do so if um, you feel comfortable and safe to do so. Um, we are now celebrating our 51st anniversary of Earth Day here in 2021. And um, this Earth exhibition talks about how we can appreciate Earth, things going on in nature that uh, are impacting not only us, but the wildlife and animals around us. And um, so we hope this, this project and also this exhibition that inspires us, um, inspires you, to have a deeper appreciation for nature and for earth um, and to take care of it. So why not bring some of this nature into our own lives and homes? As you can see around me, I'm myself a little bit of a plant enthusiast. So I'm really, really excited to be leading this workshop. Why don't we get started? Um, for those who have gotten a bag or materials from us at the museum, you know that we, if everything is in a brown bag. Um, in your brown bag, you should have a bag of rocks which is in here, I'll show this now. So it's a lot of little rocks that you'll use at the bottom of your container that you choose. And that'll be for um, drainage purposes. And then a bag of soil here, um, so a little bit there. And then you should also have some um, pipe cleaners. So different colors, different sizes, as well as some big fun googly eyes. So, um, I brought, I have a few containers to show examples of what we've used in the classroom or in the past you could use today. Um, I have a bean jar that I've also poked holes at the bottom. If you have a container that has holes at the bottom, that's even better for drainage. So um, water doesn't accumulate at the bottom. I've also pulled out a, um, this is my succulent, but this is an old candle jar that I have um, that I saved and clean out and could also use for a project like this. So to get started, I would actually suggest, um, why don't we put on or hot glue gun attached however you want your items before we um, put the plant in. I found sometimes people wanna put it on the side so it can get a little messy if we put the plant in first. So if you have a hot glue gun or Elmer's glue to attach your items, go ahead and pull that out now. I'm gonna heat up mine. I am going to, Start attaching here. I also have some scissors to help me cut my pipe cleaners and however shapes that I want. Um, I have an example here as well. So here I've used another candle jar. I've um, bent the wire to make this mouth here. I've also used um, little smaller pieces to make like ears or um, other characteristics. And I'm gonna place my googly eyes first. Them wherever you like. So I'm going to use the hot glue gun here. It's still warming up. Now, Mavet, you put holes. In, so do you need? You're going to need like a dish underneath to catch the water. Yeah, probably. Yes, absolutely. That would be best, especially for your furniture. Um, so we can glue our first eye here. We can make. Um, I have Hi, my name's Kim. Um, if I don't have holes in the bottom, did the rocks being on the bottom help since I only have a mason jar? Yeah, that, that yes, absolutely. Which is why we provided the rocks to put at the bottom of your container. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put my eyes here. Here are my first eyes. It almost looks like a mouth here. It's kind of funny. It's almost like... <laughs> Totally looks like the mouth. That's pretty yeah. Cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll just make a big nose. 
Yeah, you can glue anything you want really on your succulent. We just thought the eyes and the pipe cleaners would get you started. Yeah, if you have other materials, um, sequin stuff, if you've... I have another question. Can you also use sand? Yes, you can. Um, actually, succulents really like sand or really um, high drainage um, soil or, or material. So sometimes even if you mix some of that sand into the soil that we provided or a specific soil type for succulents, that actually helps with drainage a lot. So um, yeah, soil, I know perlite is a, a separate um, material that you can add. It comes in your soil naturally, but if you wanna add that extra drainage, um, perlite is something that you can add to your soil mix. Would the sand go closer to the rocks or closer to the top of the plant? Um, I would suggest maybe the top of the plant. Um, just if you're putting them in layers, if you put it closer to the to the rocks, it might slip through more. Um, okay. Yeah. You got a sand. I made this little spiral thingy. I'm just gonna put that there. I mean, but you gotta pick it up. That was that was So we're going to put in, I was just about to move on to there um, and start layering. I know it's a little hard to see, but I was going to place it into, oh, my eye fell off. I'll put that back on, <laughs> into my um, container. Just one eye. I can show you, uh, I'll start, before I put that back on, I'll start layering in here. So to start, I'm going to pour a layer of rocks at the bottom. That dog, he was on the knees the other day too. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks her treats. Uh, <laughs> All right. So I would say maybe like a couple centimeters deep if you can make it. Um, a good nice little bottom layer here, depending on how wide your container is too. Because um, maybe this one is a bit of a taller one. I'm actually going to put my plan in first and then try to go around the sides and push the soil down. So I'm going to pull here and the top. Maybe I'll flip it over first. It's really happy in its nursery pot. Mavette, if you want to tilt your camera down, you can. Sure. So you don't have to hold your plant. There you go. All right, I got it. There's a nice, nice root system there, you can see. And then it does help to um, get a bigger space to uh, kind of break that apart a little bit because they've been in the nursery pot for so long. Um, just to give the roots some space and air to breathe, I like to really break it apart um, and just loosen all that soil up before I put in. So that'll get you started. And then I'm just gonna slip it right in there. So this is a messy project. Um, yeah, and so that would be my first step to adding all that in. Um, next step that I would do is push the succulent around the sides. It's actually pretty tight, so I might just use my fingers, but just slowly push to the side and then just push down along the edges. Um, I did have a little casualty, but it's okay. They're pretty hardy. Sometimes you can even um, try rooting these pieces that fall off. Um, it's always a new adventure. I've had some luck, not, 
not successful every time, but definitely worth trying out. So as you can see, this is a pretty easy project so long as you have a container. Um, does anyone have any questions so far or having some trouble? Do succulents like a certain kind of soil? I might have missed that. What kind of soil? Do they like a particular type of soil? Like, is it wet? Is it dry? Mulchy? Yeah, this one, um, definitely for these types of succulent, and I think overall succulents in general, they always prefer a succulent um, specific soil or a very high drainage soil. So a soil that has sand, perlite, um, sometimes like they have, they the your local gardening store can sell, um, what is it, um, like mulch type that mix that you can put in there too, that all helps with the drainage. So um, you really want to avoid moisture retaining soil, which is typically what we buy for our houseplants that help um, keep them moist or keep the, the roots wet longer. Um, so yeah, definitely a, a drier soil or a high, high drainage soil. And do you do this um, for other types of plants? Like I have an orchid that was being very challenging, but decided to bloom three years later. Oh, yes. I know that orchids, um, they can be a little finicky. And I don't know, I've never had one of my own, uh, but my mom has very good luck and they actually prefer uh, also another specific type of soil. So it's specifically for orchids. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll let somebody else talk. <laughs> of course, no, no, thank you for the questions. And yeah, I mean, orchids, their roots also prefer to be open air a lot of times. So it's, and not to be overwatered. So they are a little bit more delicate. And I think more often than not, if you leave, give them their space, they tend to do better. Um, Mavette, we have a question in the chat. Um, how yeah. often should the succulent be watered? Like sure. These again are a hardy succulent, so def they're used to more um, desert type environments. So um, allow them to dry out completely. Um, if you're not sure that they're completely dry out, give them a few days extra. These are definitely types of plants that um, they can go longer without water than with water. So if you overwater them, they're very susceptible to root rot, root rot sorry. So, um, it's better that they completely dry out. And then when you do water, make sure you water thoroughly. If you do have a container without any drainage holes, um, you do wanna be more careful with that. Maybe water them um, a little bit once a week, but maybe like, um, I don't know how to measure it. Would... Like you don't wanna soak it. Do you wanna soak it or you just like give it a little drink? I would give it a little drink if it's in a container without any drainage holes. Um, definitely like less than a quarter cup. Um, maybe half, yeah, half of that. Let me attach this eye back on it. Oh, oh let's see. I'm going to look. I want to see what Lisa La Queen is working on here. A lovely co worker from the AV. <laughs> I'm calling you out. Let me see what you got. Me out. Well, I actually, what I say, yeah. So there it is. I just vibes. Um, my I have a question. Um, I think I need extra soil. Do I not? You know, just to cover. It, sure. It, I mean, it, you can like also break apart like um, the soil that your plant came in. I, okay, I did. Um, I just was afraid to do too much breaking. Um, sure. All right. Yeah, that's, that's that. That's pretty cute. Cool. <laughs> like aquarium situation going on. That's cute. could also like fill up the top with some like little rocks or something right with that like mm -hmm. fill it up, maybe so i know if um becca can you bring up the image of the succulent again because mm -hmm. that one had some colorful rocks so mm -hmm. for those who didn't see it this was a uh, a few that we did last year 
Um, so we were able to, at that time we had um, some colorful walks, but we kind of lined it on, to on the top. So you can always do that decorative stuff. Um, and then here you can clearly see that the layers, um, I chose a bad example today, but here you can see the bottom layer for drainage and then the rest of the soil for the succulent itself. Let me share, I think I have another image. Sure. Like I said, here's another example that I have. Okay. Yeah, and then I know that, um, yeah, <laughs> our group from last year. <laughs> so you can make a ton of fun of like funny faces um, depending on what type of mood you're in. And the succulents that we provided at the museum, I think it is important to note um, that the person providing them told us that these are our hardy succulents. So I definitely believe that they are capable of um, withstanding that direct sunlight. If you put them outside, um, they'll do pretty well in those in that environment. Um, again, overall, I mean, some succulents are a little different, um, prefer direct sunlight or indirect sunlight, but bright. But overall, if you put them in a sunny, sunny area or sunny window, um, most likely they'll thrive. Yeah. I have a question. Um, are, are you supposed to repot succulents like every so often or like what is the rule of thumb with that? Yeah, I think um, checking in on them every spring. I mean, springtime is a good time to check in on your plants um, sometimes house plants can be repotted maybe every two years. Um, succulents, depending on how fast they grow, some succulents grow a little slower. So every two years, three years, you might want to repot. Um, this one, since it is a tighter fit, I definitely would repot in a year. Uh, but if you have more space like the terrarium style, you can definitely go a bit longer. Yeah, that's a good question, thanks. <laughs> Careful with your hot glue gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of it yeah um succulents they don't need any plant food or anything is that correct or, or actually they do it? they do um so they are typically when you have newly repotted the soil that you're using has the nutrients it's, it needs for the first at least half of year or year um after that like anything else with you know after watering nutrients start um, moving through and the plant absorbs it so um, I don't have it with me, but for succulents, sometimes they have, um, I believe you can get it in a liquid form or in a powder form as a fertilizer. Um, it'll give you the measurements on how much to use. I have a, almost a liquid type that you foam in and I put it like around and then I water, um, and that will provide it extra plant food for its, um, especially during the spring and summer months where it's growing the most. Um, during the winter, typically a lot of these plants are dormant, so they're not doing as much growth. So you don't, it's best not to fertilize as often. Okay. Yeah. That's such a cool superhero. Yeah, that's it. That's the exact, uh, <laughs> Theresa, hi. Hi. <laughs> the, <laughs> that's the succulent plant food that I also use. Um, it's like a type of foam. Yeah. Brought a few things for you all. Um, 
for cuttings specifically, if you want to propagate um, this type of root grow, this is specific to dipping that, um, the raw kind of cutting or flesh part of the plant that you've cut, dipping it into, it's a powder and you dip um, that cutting in there. It kind of has a few images here, but you dip it into the powder and then you place it directly into soil. So that will encourage um, direct root growth and is faster than if you just put it in a water, which is what I have here. This has been sitting in here for a couple weeks now. And you can only now to start to see some of that root start starting to grow. So th those are two methods that I'm working with now. Yeah, I never have much luck doing it through water. Like I just, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't happen, but. I definitely lost leaves along the way and, and portions some make it, some don't. Um, but I've been fairly lucky and fortunate. Um, this is the soil mix that I have again um, for succulents. So there's a couple different brands out there, um, but it'll say specific like cactus mix or succulent mix. That's what you want to look for. Okay, I was worried that the cactus mix was like specifically for cactus because I the one at my <laughs> store did not have succulents on the bag. Got it, got it. No, cactus mix is also something that you can use. I like the tin. I like the tin can. Yeah. So funny. Is, the, is that a mug or is it the like the kind of pearly thing? Yeah, what is that? This is a, a candle jar that um, I used up. Yeah. How did you do that? Did you just scrape the candle out of the bottom or you just... Mm -hmm. So what actually and I end up doing with old candles, um, once the wick no longer burns, I pour in um, hot water. Um, I boil some water, I pour that in there and the wax comes up to the top. And so once it hardens, there's like a layer of wax that I can just plop off and then I'll clean out the rest yeah. as a container. That's great because we always want to think about how to reuse all these, you know, containers that we have at home. Exactly. Just had beans this morning. That's why I'm using this. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And thank you, Mavette. Any last, any last words? <laughs> I don't think so. Thanks for joining. Hopefully right. we'll this again. But um, yeah. Yeah. Let's say, oh, Melissa, <laughs> I see it. Have a oh, safe weekend. Melissa. Bye, bye. Bye, super bye. succulent. <laughs> bye, super succulents. Bye.